Hello everybody and welcome back to Out of Body. My name is Sabrina and in today's video we are going to be talking about something pretty creepy. We are going to be talking about a paranormal game called One Man Hide and Seek. And yes, this is a game you have to play alone. Now this paranormal game is not a video game or anything like that. This is something that you actually physically play and the object of the game is actually to summon a spirit. So disclaimer, I would absolutely not recommend you try this. That's not why I'm bringing it on this channel. I just find it interesting. I find these different paranormal games that people play interesting. Again, not to say that you need to try this, Although if you want to try it, fine, go ahead. Let me know how it goes. But yes, just know that there are risks to this game because you are actually trying to summon a spirit. So in order to play this game, you need to first know the different items that you will need. There are some things that you will have to have on hand to use during the ritual. So the idea of this game as one man hide and seek is that you'll be playing hide and seek by yourself essentially, but also with a spirit. And so there are a few physical items that you will need in order to play hide and seek and to summon the spirit. One of those items is a doll, a stuffed doll, because you will have to open up the doll and put something in it. Um, but the idea of the game is that you will play hide and seek with this doll, but you will in the process summon a spirit into the doll who will then play hide and seek with you. So the things you will need are as follows. Like I said earlier, you'll need the stuffed doll. Um, I'm just reading them off here. You will, uh, the doll needs to have limbs is a particular thing about that. Um, you will also need some rice. You will need a needle and a red thread. You will need a pair of nail clippers. Yes, nail clippers. One sharp edged tool, so like a knife or something that can cut. A cup of salt water. You will need access to a bathroom and a bathtub. And in that bathroom, it, there will need to be some sort of countertop where you can set something on. The bathtub eventually will be filled with water, so you'll need to be able to have access to water. And the last thing you will need is a hiding place. So wherever you are staying or living or trying this experiment, you will need to have access to some sort of good hiding place and there must be a TV in that room. So your next steps are as follows. You need to use the cutting edge tool to cut the doll. It says to remove the stuffing out of the doll. And once the stuffing has been removed, you replace it with the rice. Now the rice is supposed to represent organs. So essentially you're taking the stuffing out of the doll and you're putting rice in there to represent organs. So it's like you're trying to make the doll a little more human and a little more real which that in and of itself is creepy. Now the next step is the nail clippers. So you'll want to use the nail clippers to clip some of your nails and you put that, yes, in the doll as well, along with the rice. And after you've stuffed the doll with the rice and your nails, then you use that red thread that we mentioned earlier, along with the needle to sew the doll back up. And with any thread that's left over, you actually are supposed to tie it around the doll. The next step is to go to your hiding place and put the cup of salt water on the ground. Now, everything that I just mentioned was just preparation. That's not actually part of the game. This is just to get you prepared for the the game. So the first step of the game is to give your doll a name. Now it does say not to give the doll your own name. I don't know why that is, but it's probably a good idea anyhow. <laughs> I, I, I would gather so that whatever spirit you're trying to summon into the doll doesn't get invited into yourself because if you use your own name then that's like you're inviting the spirit into yourself. Now the second step to this game which I wish I had mentioned earlier so that you would know in case you are trying it you have to do all of this around 3 a.m. or before 3 a.m. because the second step has to be done at 3 a.m. So at 3 a.m. you're supposed to say your doll's name and then after you say their name you say is the first it. So like Sally is the first it. And you say that three times to the doll. Now the next step is to fill up the tub with water in the bathtub and you take the doll and you put it in the bathtub, which is filled with water. The next step is to turn off all the lights in your house. 
Yes, all of them at 3 a.m. Yeah, I'm too chicken to try this. Now, while all of the lights are turned off, go back to your hiding place and turn on your TV. Now that you're in your hiding place, you need to count to 10. And then once you reach 10, you go ahead and go back to the bathroom with the sharp edged item in hand. So with the knife or whatever you use to cut the doll with, you have to have that in your hand as you walk to the bathroom to find the doll. Now, once you find your doll, you say to it, I have found you, and then the doll's name. You stab the doll with the edge tool, and then you say, you are the next it, and then the doll's name. And then you take the doll out of the bathtub and lay it on the counter in the bathroom. And the next step is to go back to your hiding place and hide. So essentially, the first several steps is the doll is it and is supposed to hide essentially but you've hit it in the bathtub so you go to your hiding place you count you go back to the bathtub you find it hopefully it's there <laughs> if it's not then well <laughs> but you go back you find the doll and then you say okay now i'm it and now i'm gonna hide and you have to find me so then you go hide and essentially the doll is supposed to find you. Now you are in the final stretch and you are ready to finish the game. So your next step is to pour half of the cup of salt water into your mouth. Don't swallow it, just leave it in your mouth. And now you are supposed to get out of your hiding place and start looking for the doll. And whatever happens, don't spit out the salt water. Now, if the doll is not in the bathroom, just keep looking for it throughout the house until you find it. Now, when you do find the doll, go ahead and pour the rest of the salt water in that cup onto the doll. And it says to spit the water that's in your mouth onto the doll as well. And to finally end the game, you say, I win. And you say that three times to the doll and that's supposed to end the ritual. Now, you're not done yet. <laughs> Once you have finished the game and you have completed the ritual and said, I win three times, then you are supposed to dry the doll, burn it, and discard it. So some additional notes here that I will mention on this game. I mentioned earlier that the rice represents the organs. Um, the red thread actually represents the blood vessels. Um, again, trying to make the doll more human-like, more real. Another interesting thing to note is the TV and why that needs to be turned on during the game. It's basically so that you can tell that something paranormal is happening. So if, if nothing significant happens, they say that usually you can tell something different by the TV, like if it starts to glitch or if it gets fuzzy or the channel changes or it turns off or something like that. That kind of lets you know that something paranormal is going on. So that completes this video. What did you guys think of this game? Are you going to try it? Do you know anybody who's tried it? Have you heard of it before? I just thought it was interesting. I heard about it like years ago when I was first watching like YouTube videos about paranormal stuff and I heard about it and if you're interested, I, I'm not interested, but I noticed when I was researching this that if you search it on YouTube, if you search one man hide and seek, there's people that actually recorded themselves playing it. I was too scared to watch, to be honest. And I also felt like some of them could be fake. I don't know. But if you're interested in that, check that out. But yeah, I just thought this would be interesting. There's lots of different games like this that I could talk about. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Drop a comment down below and I will continue to make more of these. Again, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a great night and I will see you in the next video. Bye.